With a fixed rate mortgage, the interest rate stays the same during the life of a loan. Let's take a look at calculating the interest rate of an adjustable rate mortgage. With an adjustable rate mortgage, known as an ARM, the interest rate changes periodically, usually in relation to an index, and payments may go up or down accordingly. In recent years, the ARM has become the most widely accepted alternative to the traditional 30-year fixed rate mortgage. The primary components of an ARM are the index, the lender's margin, the calculated interest rate, initial interest rate, and cost caps. With most ARMs, the interest rate and monthly payment change every year, every three years, or every five years. The period between one rate change and the next is known as the adjustment period. A loan with an adjustment period of one year, for example, is called a one-year ARM. Most lenders tie ARM interest rate changes to changes in an index rate. These indexes usually go up and down with the general movement of interest rates in the nation's economy. When indexes go up, so does the mortgage rate, resulting in higher monthly payments. When the index goes down, the mortgage rate may or may not go down. To calculate the interest rate on an ARM, lenders add a few points called the lender's margin or spread to the index rate. The amount of the margin can differ among lenders and can make a significant difference in the amount of interest paid over the life of a loan. Calculated ARM interest rate equals the index rate plus the lender's margin. The calculated or initial ARM interest rate is usually the rate to which all future adjustments and caps apply. Although this rate may be discounted by the lender during the first payment period to attract and qualify more potential borrowers. This low initial rate, sometimes known as the teaser rate, is one of the main appeals of the arm. However, without some protection from rapidly rising interest rates, borrowers might be put in a position of not being able to afford rising mortgage payments. To prevent this situation, standards have been established requiring limits or caps on increases. Interest rate caps place a limit on the amount interest rates can increase. These may come in the form of periodic rate caps, which limit the increase from one adjustment period to the next, and overall rate caps, which limit an increase over the life of the mortgage. The following formulas can be used to find the maximum interest rates of an ARM. The max rate per adjustment period equals the previous rate plus the periodic rate cap, and the max overall ARM rate is equal to the initial rate plus the overall rate cap. Here's an example. Florence Powers bought a home with an adjustable rate mortgage. The lender's margin on the loan was 2.5% and the overall rate cap is 6% over the life of the loan. Step 1. Because the loan interest rate is tied to an index, we use the formula. Calculated ARM interest rate in this case equals 4.9% plus 2.5% for a total of 7.4% and our maximum overall rate is 7.4% plus 6% to equal 